Good evening, good evening, students. Good evening. We're going to start at A5, okay? We're going to give time to the rest of the classmates to get connected. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. How are you today? Very well, teacher. Awesome. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Really nice. Ready for the class. Yay. Teacher, yes. I, I I received today a message from the Corporativo about the uh, the new screen its inscription for the next model. Oh, for the next model, yes. They yeah. they they normally ask you at the middle of the of this model in order to get to the next one because it takes like uh, like two weeks in order to get accepted through and support. Okay, I and guess. I have another question. I yeah. already did the platform, and I, I I remember that you told us about until the unit number two, right? Number yes, unit number two and the midterm that is going yeah, to be. Yeah. Uh -huh. The, the, the well i have a question because in in the platform uh, it says that in the 28th september it's going to close 20th september is going to close yep so i don't know if, if if it is correct or i don't know if i am in the in the right model in the platform uh, it has to appear intermediate four. Yeah, intermediate four. Okay, it says that unit two is going to close until. No, no, all the all the model going to close are September uh, twenty eighth September. Okay, so for the second, the third. Um, no, no, it's going to be later because uh we're going to finish um. First week, second week, third week. No, it has to be until the fifth or the fourth of October because uh, there are four units, so it's going to be until that time. Okay. Maybe the maybe it's going to be fixed in a few days. Yeah, maybe it's because of the vacation. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, we have some days off, and uh, I think it's because that. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, awesome. Okay, what about the rest? Good evening, welcome, welcome.
Okay, Debbie, good evening, how are you? Good evening, teacher, sorry. Okay. Very nice, uh, let me listen to Domingo. How are you, Domingo? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? It is nice. Um, my day is, uh, is fine. Is uh, I'm working. on my oh. score. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Very good. Awesome. Very good. Okay. What about the rest? Vanessa, how are you? Hello, teacher. Everything is okay. I I have too much work and I feel a little stressful. <laughs> I think. Okay, very <laughs> nice. Have, everything was alright. <laughs> okay, very nice. Everything was good. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening, Mister. How are you? Fine, and you? Very nice. Ready for the class. Okay, me too. Okay. How was your day? Um, very tired, but everything okay to share. <laughs> okay, very nice. Excellent. So you are ready for the class? Yes. Okay, very nice. Excellent. That's good. Okay. Um. Well, Belen, I didn't ask you how was your day. How was your day, Belen? Well, it can be better, but <laughs> maybe the same as yesterday because I didn't sell anything. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's okay. It's about time. I don't know. But um, I feel very well. Like, even, even if I have one of the worst months of my uh, life in that work <laughs> but I feel okay it was like I don't know it's it's it's, it's not about me so because we, we work with different resource for example the base buses I don't know how to say buses in English base yeah uh, yeah bases okay so uh, we work with different resource and maybe that those resource it doesn't work right now, so it isn't our fault, right? So, yeah, uh, maybe the middle, no, the um, the half of our team, it's like even worse than me. Oh. So, okay. yeah, it's kind of, I don't know. Maybe it will be worse. Yeah, I, I, maybe I, I felt different if I was the unique that I, 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 was terrible but if you I'm were not, the only the only one with the problem the only one, yeah but it results that now and, and it's because about the resource that the bank gave to us so yeah it is what it is right <laughs> yeah okay very nice awesome very nice okay Aminda good evening welcome hello teacher how are you today Fine because today uh, I did a uh, home office. Oh, okay, home office. Okay, household chores. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, very nice. So you were cleaning the kitchen, you were making the dishes and everything like that? Uh, mm, yes, but it, it's, uh, it's, it's a mix with the tasks of my office. Oh, oh okay, very nice, very nice. Oh. Okay, very nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, we're going to start with the attendance list. So as soon as you listen your name, please tell me present, okay? Okay. Awesome. Give me a second in here. Yes. Okay. Okay. Adela Trinidad Gonzalez Consuera. Present. Okay, very nice. Adela, always in a hurry. <laughs> okay, very nice. Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Okay. Belén Batre García. Present, teacher. Very good. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. 
Tevi, Yasmin Giron Ramirez. Present teacher. Sorry, I have my dinner. Okay, don't worry. Enjoy it. Thank you. Okay. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Present. Okay. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Okay, very nice. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Okay, very nice. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Okay. Rosemary Ventura de Arguello. Present teacher. Okay. Rosibel del Carmen López. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Sonia Yvette Alvarenga. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present teacher. Okay. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Okay. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Okay, very nice. Awesome. Very good. Okay. So um, we're going to start with the class, uh, but before I want you to remember about something that we saw yesterday, what do you remember about yesterday class? Mm -hmm. I remember the, we talked about the 3P, 3PL, 3, I, I don't remember that, Three P L. It's not the number three on there. <laughs> pa, pa, <laughs> three pile logistic, right? Three pile logistics, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. Very nice, and uh, of course about outsourcing, right? Yes. Okay, awesome. Very nice. So those are part of the situation that we can have in a company in order to work in a different uh, areas, right? Okay, it's a different ways to work. Okay, but um, do you remember the last time we talked about first conditional, right? So, yes. okay, we talked that we use a simple present and future, right? In that uh, tense of on conditionals which is the first. Okay, for example, I have some questions for you. For example, I'm gonna tell you a statement, okay, a result uh, You is going to be created by you. I'm gonna tell you the, the condition, okay? For example, uh, imagine an example. I can tell you, for example, um, if I tell you like, for example, this, this situation, um, what happens if I give you $1,000, for example, okay? So you're going to create a statement. If you give me $1,000, I will buy this, I will do this, I will, et cetera, right? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna give you a sentence and you're going to give me the, res, the, the result, okay? I'm gonna give you the condition statement. I don't know if it's clear. Uh, we have to write it or we have no just, no 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 it's uh, going to be just a speaking just a speaking, speaking right now okay. yeah okay. okay okay for example if i tell you um if i give you one thousand dollar okay so you have to think i'm gonna give you like a few seconds in order to think about the result right okay if i give you one thousand dollar as a gift right okay so what's going to be the result that you're going to create for you? Okay, for example, I can say, if you give me $1,000, I will go to Colombia, for example. I will go to Panama. I will go to Brazil. I will go, I don't know, whatever, right? Okay, I will buy um, a new cell phone. I will buy a computer. I will buy... I don't know. I will um, pay my debts. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's, it's a decision that you're going to, to have, right? Okay. This is like an example. I don't know if it's clear. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. But I want you to be like active. So I'm going to give you that statement. 
but I wanted to, I, I, I wouldn't like to be asking, for example, okay, uh, what do you think, Vanessa? Oh, what do you think, Walter? Uh, I would like you to um, tell me the, the result. Uh, for example, I immediately, okay, uh, imagine that Belen is going to participate, then Aminda asks for participate, then Oscar, then etc. in that way, okay? I wouldn't like to be like asking because when we stay like uh, quiet, so the activity is not like dynamic, like we should be, right? Okay, is it clear? Yes. Okay, like perfect. Order. Okay. Va vamos a tratar de ser dinámico, ¿verdad? Porque yo voy a dar la, la, la statement y ustedes me van a dar la result. Aquí vamos a poner en práctica un poco. Ustedes tienen el conocimiento, right? Pero como muchas veces eh, no dejamos salir esas ideas, pueda que de inicio se nos, puede, nos haga complicado un poco. Ok, pero esto nos va a servir para poder empezar a producir el inglés sin necesidad de escribirlo, sino por, por, por una pregunta, yes. ¿verdad? Ok. Very nice. Ready? Yes. Awesome. Very nice. Ok. Let's go with the next question. Ok, ready, ready. Ok, what happened? If you can say one thing about your body or personality, think. What happened if you can change a part of your body or personality? If I I can change my body, I will. I would be slim. So yeah, I would be slim. It will be three parts of your body. Vane? Ah, me perdí. <laughs> Repítame. <laughs> okay, if you, okay. If you change a part of your body or uh, personality, what happens if you? Teacher. If I change okay. a part of my body, I will change my my weight. Ah, okay, very nice. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, yes, Belen. Yeah, and maybe <laughs> maybe I didn't get it very well because I understand that you will be in. An idea, and maybe I have to create a sentences based in that idea. So I was thinking about if I uh, be more patient or less angry, for example, because it's something about my personality. But, but according to your idea, if I uh, change something about my personality, uh, definitely I will be more patient. Ok, yes, ok. Yo le voy a dar, eh, muy bien, excelente, Belén. Yo le voy a dar, por ejemplo, eh, recordemos que en los condicionales tenemos dos oraciones, ¿verdad? Dos partes. Tenemos la condition y tenemos el result. Ok, yo le voy a dar la condition. Ok, if I change a part of my body of a personality. Esa es la condition. Luego ustedes me van a dar result. Cada quien puede dar un result. Alguien puede decir, por ejemplo, I will change my patient. I will change my, I don't know, right? O alguien puede decir, I will change my face. I will change, I don't know, etc. Right? It's up to you what is the result that you're going to give me. But the, the main clause, in this case, the if clause, is going to be the same. If I change a part of my body or if I change a personality. Nice. Okay, very nice. Okay, the rest... If you change a part of your body or personality, yes, Mariano. I will change my noise. <laughs> okay, very nice. Your noise. Yeah. <laughs> your nose. Nose, nose. Okay, very nice. Awesome. Okay, ¿cómo sería completa la oración? If I can change a uh, part of my body, I will change my nose. Okay, very nice, awesome, very good. Okay, what about the rest? 
Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for Adela. Okay, Aminda. Okay, um, I will change my hair. Your hair? Yeah, my hair, yeah. Okay, so uh, the, the whole statement, Saria? If can change uh, my part of body, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. I will change my hair. Okay, very nice, excellent, very nice. Okay, okay Rosemary. That looks beautiful on you. <laughs> okay, yeah, Rosemary. Okay, if I have to change something about my body, I will change my double chin, especially for pictures. Oh, okay, okay, very nice. Awesome, very nice. Okay, what about the rest? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Carlos? If I can change part of my body, I think I really want to change my hair. I like the curly hair, and I don't have curly hair. <laughs> okay, very nice. If you could change a part of your body, you okay, it will be your hair because you would like a curly hair. Yeah. Awesome, very nice, excellent. Walter, what do you think about? Oh, uh, well, uh, if I can change one part of my personality, I will, will change, I will, will like less angry. You will change your angriness. Yeah. Okay, very, very nice, very nice. Awesome. Okay, what about the rest? I would like to listen to the rest. Oscar? Okay, Roberto? Hello, teacher. Okay. If I... If I have, if I have change, change, uh -huh. change uh, something about my uh, uh, of about um, a part of my of my body, I I prefer change. I think well. Uh, my my type of of, of my hair hair you hair yes okay very nice awesome okay let's go with the next question let's go with the next question okay be ready in order to participate okay 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 if you find a wallet full of money in the street. If you find a wallet full of money in the street, think about. If you find a wallet full of money in the street. I will try to find the, the owner. The owner, okay, very yeah. nice. So uh, the sentence will be? I, I, I will try. Yes, I, I will try, yes, I to find the owner. To find the owner, yeah. Okay, so ya completa. Okay, yes, Walter. I pick it up and run faster. <laughs> I'll pick it up and run faster, okay, very nice. <laughs> Okay, what about the rest? Okay, can you repeat the, 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 the sentence, teacher? If you find a wallet full of money in the street. Okay, if I found a... Find, a, find. 
find, right. yeah, sorry. If I find a full of money wallet in the street, I will. Will, will, I will. Ah, I will. Uh, maybe search, search in the nearest places to the owner. Ah, okay, or very nice. For a, an ID. Okay, very nice. Excellent, very nice. Yes, Rosemary, you raise your hand. If I find a wallet full of money in the street, the pen, if the wallet has the ID, I will try to find the owner. But if John has the ID, probably keep it. Okay, <laughs> if it doesn't have the ID, so you'll keep it. Okay. But you'll keep it the money, not the, not the wallet, right? Yeah, the money. <laughs> Depend on the brand. If the wallet uh, has the okay. brand. Yeah, okay. Very nice, also. Awesome. Okay, Debbie. Um, I will ask how much money has in, in the wallet. And <laughs> I guess, right, is the owner. Okay, very nice. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, what about the rest? Mm -hmm. Carlos, what would you do? Oh, if I find wallet in the street. Full of I, money, full I, of money. Full of money. Oh, I, I got the money and I think what one <laughs> buy me for today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So in other words, it will be like the statement like this. If I find a wallet full of money in the street, I will take the money and then I will look for the owner just for the wallet <laughs> and the documents, right? right? Okay. Okay, very nice. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's go with the next one. Be ready. This is the last one. Okay. If you could learn anything, what happened if you could learn anything more? Learned, aprender, right? Yes, yes. If I could learn anything, it's like if I had to choose something to learn or? It's up to you if you decide uh, what do you want to learn. Okay, if I can uh, learn about anything, I definitely will uh, learn French. French, awesome. Yeah. Okay. The rest? Okay, Oscar, what do you think about? Adela? Roberto? If, if. Go, go ahead. Okay, no, Roberto, then Vanessa. Okay, first Roberto and then Vanessa. Okay, uh, if I will, if I will learn if, something. If, if I can learn something. Okay, if I can learn something, I I will. Oh, I, I prefer learn uh, about my ma project management. Okay, I will learn. I will learn. I will learn about project management. Project management. Very nice. Awesome. Okay, Vanessa. Okay, if. I can learn something. I would like to learn about reposteria. How do you say that? <laughs> ah, reposteria. Well, I haven't think about that word. Thank you. Mm, reposteria. It's like de pasteles. Bakery? Yeah, I think bakery. It, it has been like bakery or like bakery. Yeah, or cave, or cave shop. I don't know, something like that. Yes. Yeah. Bakery or cave shop. 
Okay, be like yes, because like. uh, repository is like for business, right? In order to. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but how to cook? <laughs> okay, bakery, yes, bakery. <laughs> bakery. Yeah, bake, yes, bakery, I guess. Okay, very nice. Uh, what about the rest? Teacher, if yes. I, I can learn about something, I will learn about, uh, like, Physics? Physic, yes. Oh, physic. Very nice. Okay, awesome. I will learn about physic. Very nice. Teacher. Yes. I would like to learn to make cake and different coffees. Different coffees. Okay, awesome. Very yeah. good. Okay. Interesting. Okay. What about the rest? Okay. If I can learn after. You can learn? If I can learn something, uh, anything new. Uh -huh. uh, I, I will. Learn, I will learn how to understand. Uh, I don't know how to say, how to understand. Um, the the universe. The universe. The, the, oh, the universe. okay. How to understand the universe? Okay, very nice. Interesting. Very nice. Okay. What about the rest? If I can learn anything, I will learn. Uh, about biology. Biology, okay, very nice, excellent, very good. Okay, yes, Carlos? If I could learn anything, I would learn uh, develop uh, video games on apps for Android. Okay, how to develop video games and apps, you know, okay, very nice, interesting. Okay, very nice. Somebody else? Aminda, what would you like? If you can learn anything or something. Okay. I will learn uh, about uh, methodologies. Methodologies? New, new methodologies? Yeah, or? new methodologies. Yeah. Okay, new methodologies, yes. Or to create your own methodologies. <laughs> 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 I will create <laughs> my. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I don't know if you, because you are a teacher, you, you sometimes prepare your class in a way, but at the moment of developing the class, you have to, to like reinvent what you created, right? That happened. I don't know if it happened yeah. to you. Yeah. And that sometimes happens. you go and look for your lesson plan and say, I didn't perform even the 30% of this. I had to do something else. Yeah. Yeah, that happened. I don't know what. The craziness of teaching. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Awesome. So uh, this activity is in order to speak. I am happy to listen to you because some of you were trying to tell me some things in English, and that's really important because what well, what we need is to make you speak. Okay, and to be like active at the moment of producing words. Okay. So right now we're going to be working with the with the book. So let me tell. Just let me know if you have the right uh, one in here. Teacher, yeah. I have some questions. Yes, tell me about the questions. Okay, have. I already, uh, well, I, I took a picture about the structure of the zero conditional and I have some doubts. For example, uh, what I have to use, the will or the will? Will, will. Okay. But not going, only will. Just, yeah, you can use uh, be going to or you can use will, both of them. Ah, be going to or, ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. It's because I hear, but I, I don't know, 
at the first at the at the beginning i i said uh wool because i i i understood that that is the the correct uh no. word but i that, I, I then i that's, that's what i told you will yeah okay 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 yes Wool is going to be used with the unreal conditionals, the, the two more that we're missing. Okay. Uh, the second stuff is because in the in the structure that we the, I have, uh, the first sentence with the if, with the conditional, obviously uh, we have to, we don't have to use exactly the do or does, right? It's only a verb. It could be uh, you can use do or does if you make negative. For example, sorry. For example, if you say, if I don't study hard, I won't pass the test. Ah, I understand. Do yes, or does it, for the negative sentence. Yes. Okay. Okay. That, that's uh, all. That's all. Okay. That's uh, remember, remember that um, in this case, you don't have to get confused with the languages because we have two different situations. The first one is the first, con the zero conditional that is simple present and simple present. And the next one is the, the first conditional, which is simple present with will, future will or future be going, to, right? For example, zero conditional, I can say, I like, if I, for example, if I study English, comma, I learn more. This is zero conditional, right? Because you have a structure here, simple present, simple present, okay? How you how do you identify that is simple present statement? ¿Cómo identificamos que es una oración de presente simple si no lleva el do ni el does? Because the verb. Because the verb, because the structure. Yeah. Okay, subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. Okay, ahora veamos esta. If she studies... Uh, French. She oh my God. Okay. If she studies French, she gets new knowledge. Zero or first conditional? Zero. Zero. Okay, how do you identify that? Because of the verb. The verb, right? It has a modification. So remember, if we use third uh, person, we're going to have the modification of the verbs with S or IES or everything that I gave you, right? Okay, you for need example, to. You agree the will and the second sentence is definitely going, going to be a first conditional, right? Yes. If you change, for example, this one. Okay, I can I can get the same structure, for example, like this one. Okay. And I just put will. And now it becomes a first, first conditional. conditional. I don't have to modify this, only this one, okay? So you need to be careful with that part and you need to learn how to handle with both ways, okay? The same happens here. If I want to get this one as a first conditional, I have to make a modification. She will, and here without S, she will get new knowledge. Teacher, I have a question, yes. but I have fear of the answer too. <laughs> okay, okay. How many conditionals are? Do you remember I told you at the beginning? Um, I remember that you told us about four. 
four conditionals. Yeah. Okay. That the conditionals are in this way. For example, zero and first conditional talk about real things. The zero conditional talks about real facts. The first conditional talk about, talk about real facts. Fa uh, facts, sorry, but there also are prob um, some probability of something to happen. It's probably because it can be like that or maybe not. So it's making a probably situation, but it's talking about real things. The, okay. the, the second and the third condition are, are on real ones. Son lo que hablan de casos irreales, las cosas que no pasarán, sino que pudieron haber pasado. Okay, that's why. Like a dream. Which one? Like a dream, for example. Yes, like a dream. Yeah, or something that you wish it could be different. O algo que usted piensa que pudo haber sido diferente si usted lo hubiera hecho de otra manera. Ok. Ok, pero los primeros dos hablan de cosas reales, ¿verdad? El, el zero conditional, cosas reales, y el first conditional de probabilidades. So, according to your experience, uh, those maybe can be the most useful or any condition that has to use in a different situation. I have uh, fear. <laughs> okay. the, the four of them are usable. Okay. Los cuatro son, son utilizables y se usan mucho, incluso en español. Si ustedes se dan cuenta, en español lo utilizamos mucho. Lo, lo que nosotros tenemos que dominar es los tiempos. Por eso es indispensable dominar los tiempos, porque si yo domino los tiempos, se me hace más fácil utilizar esto. Porque con los irreales, los tiempos van en pasado, en pasado participio. ¿Ok? Pero ahí cambia el significado. No se, no se traduce literalmente como está en el tiempo, sino que viene teniendo una pequeña modificación en la traducción, porque el if le da la diferencia. Y ahí sí utilizamos el would. ¿verdad? Ahora, pero eso es a través de la práctica. A través de la práctica lo vamos a ir dominando. ¿Ok? Ok. Thank you, teacher. Okay, awesome. Very nice. Okay, now we have a conversation. It's time to practice for you. Uh, we're going to have here uh, a conversation. I would like to listen to you in a practice. And you're going to have this one, okay? Oh my God, some other Yes, Mariano. Mariano? Yes, teacher. Yes. I uh, can participate. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very nice. Excellent. Teacher, uh, let's sign in the chat. The WhatsApp. The WhatsApp. Si Salvador and Ibe are going to be a listener. Oh, okay. Okay, very nice. Me too. Who's the next one? He, hello. Ibe. Okay, very nice. Okay, awesome. Okay. Um. Okay. Marianne is going to be Bob. I would like to listen to Rosibel B. Daisy. Okay, okay Bob, sure. you can start. Okay. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic soup. Don't, don't you think it, it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called, called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, but as far as I know, the business is not built enough to hear a true party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soup is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet, and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, very nice, awesome. Okay, um, some word that you have problems in order to pronounce in here. Alguna palabra que tengan duda en la pronunciation? Swap, swap, swap. Okay, very nice. 
we have the word soap. And another one is, they look like, right? Se parecen, verdad? Yep. Okay, this one is soap. Repeat soap. 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 Okay. Soap. Cuando hablamos de soap, estamos hablando de jabón, mm. verdad? Soap. Okay. Soap. Y luego tenemos la siguiente. Esa se pronuncia soup. 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 Ok, aquí hablamos de la sopa. sopa. De la sopa, ok. No me van a decir, ah, oh, the soap is delicious, porque van a decir, ¿desde cuándo come jabón a esta persona? Eh? Ok, porque ese es un, un, un some common mistake. Ok, entonces tenemos que asegurarnos de decir soup. Ok, soup. Repeat soup. 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 Ok, soap. Soap. Soup. Ok, very nice. Y tenemos también eh, la, en esta parte de la pronunciation uh, una parte muy fundamental que vi acá. Ya le puedo decir que es, por ejemplo, um, ok, dice, as far as I know. Ok, as far as I know. Cuando utilizamos este tipo de expresiones, por ejemplo, eh, tenemos también, to the best of my knowledge, es como dar una opinión, ¿verdad? Para decir, bueno, la, lo que yo sé, ¿verdad? I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, ¿verdad? No, no creo eso, Bob. Para lo que yo sé, ¿verdad? Eh, la, el negocio no es muy grande. Ok, very nice. As far as I know, es una forma de dar esa opinión, eh, lo que yo sé. Cuando decimos, the best of my knowledge, es lo mismo. Ah, bueno, eh, lo que yo tengo entendido, ¿verdad? Es como a veces decimos, bueno, lo poco que yo sé, ¿verdad? Es una forma de decir eso, ¿ok? Entonces, estas son uh, expresiones que nos ayudan a nosotros para poder generar un, un punto de vista. Ok, algo, algo, eh, no sé si tienen otra palabra. Teacher, maybe not the conversation, but it's the same case of soap and soap, uh, soup and soap. Yes. And I have a lot of confused about jam and ham. Ah, um, yes. Okay, it's, it's almost the same. It's almost the same, right? Uh, you get about the practice, okay? For example, if you had hey, ham, okay? Um, it's talking about, uh, puede ser jamón, But if you say jam, okay, jam is another situation. Es, ¿verdad? Como atracar, apiñar, machucar, right? Eh, entonces, you get, you have to get familiar with the pronunciation. Oh, so jam is not mermelada. Mm, yes, también, pero es que depende del context. Puede ser dependiendo del um, context. Okay. Es mermelada, pero también puede ser utilizado en esta manera, como machucar o something like that, but it's according to the context. So it's a verb? Yeah, it can be a verb. There are many words that can be verb, can be noun, can be adjectives, or can be adverbs at the same time. Okay, okay, nice. Okay, it's, it's like a crazy in a situation. Okay, Thank very you. nice. Okay, awesome. Okay, so we have this uh, conversation. I don't know if you have another. No, right? Okay, so right now we're going to work in, in this situation. We're going to be uh, answering these questions. And, but it's going to be after the explanation I'm going to give you. Okay, here we have some expression of uncertainty. Repeat, how to use expression of uncertainty? How to use expression of uncertainty. 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 Okay. uncertainty. Yes, uncertainty. Okay, let me listen to um, Domingo. Can you please read this part that is marked? Uh, expression of uncertainty are used when you need to say that you are not certain 
about some some time or that some some time might or might not be true or when you have incomplete um no knowledge 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 uh, about a situation okay very nice it says expression of uncertainty are used when you need to say that you are not certain about something or that something may or may not be true or when you have incomplete knowledge about the situation. So we use these expressions in order to give opinions, but we're not like clear about that. So that's why we sometimes use, for example, um, uh, as far as I know, uh, the best of my knowledge, a lo que puedo decir or lo que yo sé, right? Okay. Utilizamos esto cuando queremos dar eh, un punto de vista, pero que no estamos realmente seguros de algo, right? Sino que estamos diciendo, bueno, es lo que yo sé, right? Okay. And here we have some ways in order to use it. Vamos a ver acá. I don't know if you can use, uh, can you help me to read, Debbie? Uh, which? The one that I marked recently. Okay. Use common after the expression of uncertainty when they prices, no, price, price a clause. Okay. Perfect. It says use a comma after the expression of uncertainty when they precede a clause. Precede. Perfect. Precede a clause. Okay, use a comma after the expression of uncertainty when they precede a clause. Okay, very nice. Uh, okay. Uh, let me listen to Vanessa. Can you please read that? I wouldn't like to state this for certain, but the current financial, financial situation may lead to layoffs. Okay, lay layoffs. Okay, okay. I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but the current financial situation may lead to layoffs. Okay, okay. Lays off. What is layoff? Sure. Okay, lays off is a meaning. For example, when you have some problems about the the economical situations in a company, so. Uh, you have to maybe sometimes cut, uh, made, made a cut about the personal in order to save money. Como despedir algunas personas porque no es capaz de poder pagarle a todo su, su, ¿cómo se llama? Su personal. Y por eso dice, no, no. No quisiera estar, dice, I wouldn't like to say this for certain. No quisiera decir esto como algo que así será. Esta expresión dice, I wouldn't like to say this for certain. Sinceramente no quisiera decir esto como algo real, pero si la situación financiera ¿verdad? sigue lo mismo, eh, nos puede llevar a unos despidos. Ok. Ok. Uh, vamos a ver la siguiente. Tenemos acá una pregunta y tenemos acá. Vamos a ver si me ayuda a leer Rosemary. Okay. Did we get any report on when to expect the product? Okay, next part, no to my knowledge. Not, not to my knowledge. I think there are delays. Delayed, okay, very nice. Do we get any report to inspect the products? Uh, not to my knowledge. I think they are delayed. Um, cuando decimos not to my knowledge, es como decir, bueno, no, que yo sepa. Not to my knowledge. I think they are delayed. Yo creo que se han retrasado. Okay, entonces, uh, these expressions are used in order to provide an opinion. Nos sirven para dar una opinión, para dar un punto de vista. So, in this way, okay? Uh, these uh, are certainty expressions. I wouldn't like to say this for certain. Not to my knowledge. Okay, repeat. I wouldn't like to say this for certain. 
I would like, I to, would say like to say this for certain. For certain. Okay, not to my knowledge. Not, not to, my, to knowledge. my knowledge. Okay, very nice. Now we have the next one. Uh, let me listen to uh, Walter. Where? This one. Okay. As far as I know, most companies selling goods use a uh, tier parties for a less some domestic function. Okay, very nice, awesome. As far as I know, lo que yo sé, verdad? Okay, very nice, excellent. Uh, let's go with the next one, this one. Okay, uh, Adela, can you please read it? Oscar? Okay, Belen. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, is the the what you mark right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I doubt um it's very unlike do not need to be followed by a coma. Okay, I doubt, and it's very unlikely, unlikely. Unlikely. Yes, do not need to be followed by a comma. Say I doubt, and it's very likely they don't need a comma. Here we need a comma, okay? And this one, this ones, and this ones. But with I doubt, and it's very unlikely, we don't need comma. Okay, very nice. Let's check this one. Okay, let's listen to Roberto. Okay, teacher, um, which one? Ah, okay, okay. I doubt it is a good idea to hire a third party if you need to control the safety of your company's shipment. Okay, very nice. I doubt. We don't need comma. It's in the same way, right? We don't need comma. Let's go with the next one. Uh, let's listen Did to... You... Yes. Um, sorry, what does it mean, I doubt? Okay, I doubt. Doubt. Doubt no. es una forma de decir dudar. I doubt. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you. okay, I doubt it is a good idea to hire a chip if you need to control the safety of your company. Yo digo que sea una buena idea. I doubt it's a good idea. Ok, o sea, no está seguro. Tampoco está en contra, pero no está tan seguro, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. Uh, let's listen to Aminda. Can you please read this other one? Ok. Uh, it's very unlikely mm -hmm. for a medium-sized business to be able to do, to do shipping on in it's it's own yeah it's very unlikely for a medium-sized business to be able to do shipping on its own okay, okay. very nice so these are space enough uncertainty so though you use it when you want to give a point of view and for example that you're not clear about what you're talking or maybe you don't have the um, totally knowledge about the situation like this right so you use it in order to get a point of view. So you're going to be working in this exercise and then you're going to uh, answer these questions about the conversation, okay? And of course, you're going to practice the conversation in pairs. So it's going to be two activities, one, this one, and two with this one, right? Okay, but remember to practice the conversation. Okay, is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, very nice. Y una, y una cosa más. Vamos a hacer una cosa más. Okay, we're going to, for example, uh, ya que vamos a estar trabajando, quiero que me creen um, eh, five statements with zero conditional and five statements with first conditional. Okay, 
uh, try to use uh, about your knowledge or about what you want to talk. Okay, it's up to you about what you want to talk, but try to use uh, zero conditional and first conditional, five and five. If you want to make negative statements, it's up to you. If you want to make them affirmative, it's up to you, okay? For partner, teacher. Okay. Which one? Five for uh, partner or for each person? Uh, yes, five and five, five zero okay. and five first is going to be in your teamwork. Ah, yeah, la, okay. En pareja siempre, ¿va? Okay. Um, well, me dijo, creo que Salvador. Y no me acuerdo quién más fue que me dijo que estaba. Yvette. Yvette, ¿verdad? Okay. El resto estamos activos. Very nice. Ok, vamos acá. Salvador y Bet. Yes, I want Number four. Ok, very nice. Let me hear. Uh -huh. Okay, let me check. Okay, there we go. It's okay. You, you use cell phone, not yeah. computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tomorrow, please. Go to the office. <clears throat> okay, I will share the, the book. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me remember the page. Is that okay? Teacher say say practice the conversation and complete the, the exercise. Do you like practice the conversation first and after ask where the questions? Uh whatever. The, the... No. One, one time, one time, one time, the conversation. Okay. Well, start to you. Okay. And now to hear at their party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soup is selling like crazy and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the package. You see, it's time, it's time to take business out of the house. I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. Rosemary, la dejaron sola. Sí, es que Oscar aparece como oyente, pero igual las estaba haciendo, no hay problema. Ok, pero le voy a agregar con alguien porque de igual manera para que eh, pueda participar. Ok. Ok, very nice.
in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called field party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, I know. The business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy. And I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a cup of those company from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, then we have the word, complete the conversation again and answer the question. We want our boss and Daisy having problems to, to store their products? Yes, because yes. They, uh -huh. they aren't have more more room in the in their house. Mm -hmm. It's the first one. So our book and Daisy having problems, yes. They are having they are having no more room. problems because they don't have, they don't have more rooms mm -hmm. for store the product. I am problems, problemas. Why? <laughs> ah, problems. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, they are having problems because they don't have more problems. Number two, do they know a lot of, no, they, do they know a lot about three biologists? Um, they know because they search mm -hmm. in, in Google. Yeah. But I'm not sure if they know a lot. Of it. You think it's time to take this now. the house and find something called your private logistics and Google is able to help you out with the stores. I don't think so, but as far as I know, this is not good mm -hmm. enough. They, they they know about um, and they have a, a nothing idea what is third party service only only they source a solution about their problems they 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 don't. They don't know. They don't know. The the <clears throat> stays the four stays. I remember the last class four stays to select a a good teacher. Four stays. Stays 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 the pasos. It's very likely, ¿verdad? Una de esas dos es la que tenemos que elegir. Ah, ok, ok, ya. Sí. Ya, ya, ya. 
Okay, for the first one is, I wouldn't like to say this for certain, or it's very likely, but we may need to change our distributors. The first one. Um, I won't like okay. this. Where? Wait a minute. Short time. But I think he is certain for certain mm -hmm. because the example is similar. O sea, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to say this for certain o sea no quiero dar esto por por seguro como sería por it's very likely but no recuerdo muy bien cuál era esa traducción de eso hello teacher yes uh, can you uh, repeat what's the um... The meaning, uh, for example, I would like to say this for certain. For certain. Quiero mm -hmm. dar esto por, 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 ¿cómo se dice? Uh, la que parte es, uh, I wouldn't like to say this for certain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, no quisiera decir esto así como eh, tan seguro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah. And I doubt is, tengo duda o algo así. I thought, ¿a dónde tiene el I thought? Hola. En la, en la otra parte del, del cuadro donde, donde está el. Ah, I doubt. Ajá, doubt. Ajá, es como decir yo dudo que. Ajá. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. With the first one, I think I would like to say this for certain, but we may need to change our distributors. Did she manage to finish evolution? Yes. Yes, yes, that's correct. Okay. And the last one. And the last one. Yeah. The do, you, do you think both and Daisy will consider price when hiring a third party logistic? Yes. I think yes. Because Daisy told both about and it. They said the business not is not big enough to hire a third party service. Okay. Excellent. Yes, so, they consider the prices yes. before hiring a uh, three PO. Consider it's it's pricier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, if you agreed prices at the final, uh, you have to. Eliminate it's yeah. you can yeah uh, uh, because you have to put it, yes they are considered the prices are uh, their prices their prices you have to eliminate mm -hmm. this and put the uh huh yeah yeah and they are yes yes. They are okay. Yeah. So um, yes, they are considered the prices in, in plurals, eh? In plurals, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we done the exercise number 
three or three, yeah? Three? Yes. And we're going. Yes, Carlo. Hi, teacher. I, I'm staying in my home. I stopped driving. No, oh, okay. Very nice. Um, and I'm going to push you with another group. Thank you. Okay, very nice. I, 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 if you can see, uh, teacher, are you here? I'm here. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. Because I remember about, okay, uh, I already get it about the, it's very unlike, unlikely that we don't use uh, by the comma. But I remember that you told us about the use of this, the opposite of certainty. And we're talking about the same thing, but in the opposite, it will be, it's very likely. So in mm -hmm. that, in that uh, expression, we don't have to use the comma too. Is very likely to happen? No. No, it's just, it's, uh, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same ah. because, um, because likely is like a conjunction, as common connector. So we don't have to put a comma. Yeah. Next, okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, awesome. So according to that, and the first one, I wouldn't like to say this, the correct as were, it would be for certain, for certain, yeah. But we may need to change our distributor. This yo podría decir esto con certeza o para la certeza. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I would like to say this for certain, but the current finish, ah, but. Yeah, you had the reason. Let me try to put in color over the word, but I can't. No, um, <laughs> let me see. No, let me maybe you can just, uh, like, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I use circulito después del check. No se podrá poner. Ese es el que intenté. No, más pero... a, la, a la izquierda. No, otros tres, a la izquierda. Izquierda. No, este. a la izquierda. Este. Uh -huh. No nos sirve para señalar como en círculo. Ah, sí, eso sí. sí. <risa> Uy, pero salió por no, otro no. lado. Espérame. Pero la idea es esa. Ahí, ahí vamos, ahí vamos. <risa> No, no, hombre, yo sé, aquí tengo. Discúlpenme, que ya es el sueño, aquí está. Ve. Espérate. Ay, le hice varios cuadros aquí, perdón. ¿Y si utiliza el marcador del, del libro sí. directo? <risa> Eso va a ser. El tío se estresó ya con nosotros. No, 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 le estoy facilitando. Solo que no encuentro el, el marcador. Va, dele, dele, el cierre la, esa ventanilla que tiene ahorita. Ahí es. Ah, aquí está. Ahí está. Ajá. Aquí, aquí, aquí. Va, Ahí eso está. era lo que quería hacer, uh, perdón. Uh, uh. <risa> <risa> ok. Ok, now we got the second one. Did the manage? Eh... You, you stay healthy. You stay healthy. Mm -hmm. well, well, depends on some, some fruits, uh, a lot of sugar. If you have, mm -hmm. uh, if you wow. have, what to say, what to say, como si esta es la enfermedad de la azúcar, ¿no? Diabetes. Diabetes. Mm -hmm. No, entonces podríamos decir, y you eat a lot of food. Y you eat a, a, a lot of fruit, a balance. 
a balanced fruit and vegetable you stay healthy and vegetable you stay healthy vegetables así vegetales creo que así vegetable uh -huh. sí you stay healthy o o o en way o en way for hasta ahí la segunda <coughs> if you practice uh -huh. you practice wrong por ejemplo lo que vos haces if you wrong if you wrong eh, frequently uh -huh. you uh -huh. have a healthy healthy hair un corazón you sano have, you have healthy you have a, a hair healthy un corazón sano You have, pero aquí cuál es el verbo? Have. Yes, have. It's very unlikely. It's very unlikely for a small company to require logistic global service. Okay. We have to make the sentence with zero conditional. Using zero conditional and first conditional, mm -hmm. right? Yes, first conditional. Okay. Number one. Sentences. If. Okay. If I. Sentences. Uh, no, no, no. Question. Question with onward and on sentence. I understand that there are sentences. No question, but I'm not sure. Okay. I, I don't know if we if I. I don't have it. If it rains tomorrow, mm -hmm. we won't go to the party. The party. The party. If what? If 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 it rains tomorrow, rain tomorrow, rain tomorrow mm -hmm. we won't. We won't. Won't. De ir en pasado. Wo, no. No me acuerdo. Ay, yo ya no va a sacar. No hemos terminado. Espérate. Sigamos en la última. No, no hemos terminado. Mi jata. Muy rápido, no está sacando. Vale. Cinco. Solo le ando supervisando. Ah, ok. <ríe> 
Okay, teacher. <laughs> we, we work we... with bajo pressure. <laughs> you like to work under pressure. <laughs> under pressure. Dijo, if I if I win the lottery, dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. The lottery. If I win the lottery, I will. I will okay. A big house. Um, I will. I, 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 I buy a big house. Teacher, ahí sería el verbo siempre en presente. Sí. Hola, hola, hola. Este, eh, Roberto dice esta. If I win the lottery, I uh -huh. will buy a big house. Siempre quedaría en presente el verbo. Sí, ¿verdad? Eh, ahí ya no sería presente porque ya, ya tiene sería, el web que hace future en su forma base. Sería en su forma base. Ajá. Entonces siempre quedaría como buy. Yes, eh, ajá. pero ya sería en forma, en forma base, ¿verdad? En el término, porque si dice presente, entonces. Ah, ok, ok. Ajá, ajá. Sí, va. Sí. Ok, very nice. A big house. Ah, pues sí, este, Roberto. Ok. Teacher, I, I, I confuse. Eh, the rule between first conditional and the other one. The first, the zero conditional and the first conditional. Uh, yes. Okay. En el zero conditional, lo que sucede es que las dos van con el presente simple, tanto en la condición como, como en la otra. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eh, eh, sería el caso de if I win the lottery I, I buy a big house if I win the lottery I buy a big I, house this is zero conditional zero conditional ahora para convertirlo en first conditional eh, sería if I win the lottery I will buy the house mm -hmm. ok ok I will buy a big house. ok ok Thank you, teacher. Okay. We are first. The change. Okay, can you see the screen right now? Yeah. Yeah. If I learn Italian, comma. Okay. I can express myself. I can express myself, myself. in four different languages. In four, a different. No, uh, in four the number four. I perdón. <laughs> different uh -huh. language. Different is double F. Yes, double. It's simple one. It's just one, I guess. I don't know. Corrijan ah, no, si Double F. It's double F. No, no. Lang. 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 Uh -huh. That's correct. Yes. Okay. And the second sentence. No, me lo está corrigiendo. Ah, creo que lo mm. No, me lo pone en plural. For different. In Lang four versus... different. Difference is. Yes, it's because. Plural. Yeah, it's uh -huh. plural. Languages. Because ya serían okay. dos idiomas, ¿verdad? Cuatro. Cuatro idiomas. Ah, I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. Es 
¿Cómo se dice? Paulilo. No, um, no. Polilo, tal. ¿Cómo es que dice? ¿Cómo Políglota. Es que dice? Políglota. Ahí está, gracias. Políglota. Thank you, yes, políglota. En inglés, no sé cómo se dice políglota. Uh, um, I don't know, I'm not sure. Porque ni, no, no me acordaba ni en español. Políglota, ok. Sí, complicado. Ok. Uh, so, the second sentences. It could be something easy. If I eat more vegetable, I can, I feel more healthy. If I, I eat. Polyglot. If I, I see. Okay, yeah. it's polyglot. Ah, polyglot. Polyglot, I look for. Polyglot, okay. Yeah. If I eat. More, More vegetable. vegetables. ¿Así se escribe? Se escribe vegetables, pero se pronuncia vegetables. Vegetables. Vegetables, okay. Vegetables, yes. Okay. If I eat more vegetables. ¿Cómo? Mm -hmm. I be more healthy. I am. I am. Ay, ya me fregaron aquí con la postre. I am feel. Ajá. I am more healthy. Am... Feel ah. es F E E. Ay, perdón, sí, sí, me equivoqué de sentir, perdón. Yes, pero ahí hay una cosa, Minda. Uh -huh. Si utiliza verbo to be, ya no puede llevar un verbo de acción o un verbo de estado. Ah, ok. Porque ya cuando usted dice I am, yo estoy diciendo yo estoy. Yo estoy, yo estoy sano, más Ajá, sano. Yo estoy sano o más saludable. Más sano, saludable. Entonces, Ajá. I'm more healthy, yes. Health. Así se escribe, sí. Yes. Ay, que estoy mejorando aquí que la escritura. <risa> <risa> ya ven que sirve la escritura. El, el, el practicar el, el writing nos ayuda mucho. Sí. Ok, the third synthesis. Um, veamos. If I, if I read. If I, I read, read a, a lot of books. Mama. If I read a lot of books, I have more vocabulary. No, I have more vocabulary. Yeah. Vocabulary. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Let me think. If I do exercise, those the zero conditional. Okay, I have one. If I lose my wallet, I have to pay for my documents. If I lose, if I lose my, my wallet, wallet, I have I... to. I have to pay for my documents. Okay, there's only one. If I if we're both. If you know I
I have this. If you sleep early, you rest. You rest a lot. <laughs> I don't know. If you rest, if you get off work early, you will buy me a chocolate bar. <laughs> Another example. If we finish <laughs> the homework, we will sleep early. <laughs> Please, teacher. <laughs> Number seven. Another example. Mm. I think it's, it's more easy at first condition <laughs> than the same condition. Zero conditional. If I go out, um, did see? And drink water. <laughs> if I go out, um, dirty, dirty. No, 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 no. Espérame. If I, if I'm dirty, ah, if dirty. I'm... Well, there is. Uh, 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 uh. D. D. O. O. T E E T H. Uh -huh. This is singular and plural is T E E T H. Sí, yes. No. By by you need you need to the first part you need to is put a negative. Because in Spanish says, una vez yo vaya al dentista, yo me dañé los dientes. You ok. Una, una, una question. Uh -huh. Cuando llevamos el conditional, eh, ¿el verbo va en su forma base o lleva ING? Forma base. Ah, ok. Ok. Okay, if we are now in a, in a if sentence. Uh -huh. If I go. Yeah, you could. Okay, very nice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you, Tisha. Okay, awesome. But, teacher, yes. we have yes. a question. Okay. Okay, we discuss about problemas de vista. So, uh, we have an issue because uh, we have this eye disease because it's talking about the sickness, for example. But I have I an can... I have eye disease. Yes, eye disease because I can say eye struggle or eye is issue, right? Um. Yes, you can have eyes eye problems or eye. Yeah, but disease is a disease is like way to say something, uh, with uh some health problems. Ah, okay, okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the second. If the first condition. If I wake up early in the morning. Wake up, wake up early, early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Mm 
if I wake up early in the morning? I will have. More time or more, more free time. time to my, to my, I don't know, my personal stuff, my breakfast. For me? For me? Today I will have more time, time. for me. Time for it? No, me. Me. Ah, me. Perdón. Yes. That's correct. I will have for more, I will have more time for me. Okay. The next one it could be if I don't respect the traffic signals. If I don't respect traffic signals uh -huh. uh, signers signers yeah mm -hmm. I will I will have I will an accident have, car for example have an, I will have an accident an accident yes it okay. could be in general because we don't know if it's a motorcycle or a car, whatever. Yeah. It's your turn, Aminda. You're only riding. <laughs> Let me think um, if I try to speak. Um, English. I will have um. Puedo tener una mejor pronunciación, better pronunciation, eh? If I speak more English, but if I practice more English, I practice, yeah. If I practice, practice more. English English you could change uh, the the wheel for example you can say I will improve my pronunciation ah, because también. we're only using the have yeah. we can change the verb I will improve I will improve my, my pronunciation stones my muscle sophisticated yeah, mm -hmm. because we only use have, have, have. Pronunciation. Ahí está. The last one. <sighs> Déjame ver. If... if I sleep now. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. <laughs> if uh -huh. my... If my boss approve my day off on Friday, I will I, I will go to the beach. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> that that's good. If my esa es así rápido la creo. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> y so siempre tiene que aparecer el teacher ahí va. <laughs> my day. Of of s do o w f double f exactly my day off. Sería I puedo utilizar aquí el que dice I going to the beach or no? I'm going. I going. I'm. I am going to go. Ah, okay, today I. No, I I am. I am. I am. To be. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. el contratado. Um. Okay, I'm. Um, or I am. Um. Uh -huh. I'm exactly. going to go to go to, to the otra beach. Vez. To... Que feo, vea. To, no, to, es que to... el, going to, el, el going to is es uno solo. I'm going to the beach. Quito esto. Uh -huh. 
No, 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 me refiero a que se escribe dos veces ah. el tú porque el going to es una sola palabra. I'm going to go to the beach. Go, es que el problema es que el, el, el otro future es be going to. Y, ah. el be, y el be va ahí con el am, ¿verdad? Entonces te dice ah. I am going to, hasta ahí está el auxiliar ah. con el sujeto. Ya el verbo principal de la oración es el go. Entonces, go to the beach. Go to the beach. Uh, ah, o sea, básicamente, si, fuera, eh, si estuviéramos hablando de él o ella, el be sería is or are, right? Ajá, si, si fuera de ella sería is, she is uh -huh. going is, to go. Sí. Ah, ok. Si fuera de they, sería they are going to go. They are going to go. Ah, ya, yeah, ok, ok. Ya entendí. Oye, hoy me pueden poner un, un examen de gramática, eh? Uh, <risa> ya, ya ven, ya ven Ok, no, lo vamos a hacer <risa> <risa> Pero mañana, teacher, mañana, tomorrow <risa> Vaya, vaya, pues vaya pues. Ok, ¿qué más falta? Creo que ya terminamos The finish Yeah On time Yeah, on time, because it's time to go to the main session Ok yeah. We want to sleep, teacher No, We yeah, just Late. It's too early. It's too early. No, no. no. Because I because to... tomorrow I wake up. I wake up at uh four four uh, thirty a.m. Yeah, oh. me too, teacher. Okay. Too. Thanks to God, I have to stay at home resting the whole day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ya quisiera yo también. <laughs> okay, no. We have to work tomorrow too. Okay. Okay, very nice. Okay, very nice. Do you all finish? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, very teacher. nice. It looks like it was going to be easy, ¿verdad? Parecía como que iba a estar fácil, ¿verdad? Yeah, but it's okay. kind of difficult. <laughs> okay, parecía, yes. It looks but like it's it was... Because it, when we have to talk, we have to think about those situations, it's kind of difficult because we have to think about it, but maybe when when we do it or just talk about that, it's more easy to to create a sentences. It's for, uh -huh. In my case, for example, I forgot any verbs that I already remember. Okay, es que eso eso es como por ejemplo cuando normalmente bueno nos ha pasado incluso hasta en el trabajo. Yo llevo planeado que quiero hacer esto, lo otro, y llevo aquí bien chivo y todo, pero a veces a la hora de leer se me olvidó algo y presenté una parte. ¿verdad? Después digo, y no hice esto, no presenté esto. Y aquí podía haber dicho esto, podía haber dicho lo otro, podía haber dicho... Normalmente cuando ya tenemos esa presión, eh, como que nuestro cerebro bloquea un poco y nos queda el poquito ahí y se nos hace difícil. Y, y en este caso, como es another language, como es otro idioma, ¿Verdad? Va a pasar siempre. Que cuando vayamos a practicar, o sea, yo ahorita, si yo, yo aquí les pongo a ustedes una página de vocabulario y ustedes, ah, esta me la sé, esta me la sé, esta me la sé, esta me la sé, sí, esta, ah, sí, esta me la sé, me la sé, ah, todas me la sé. Pero cuando diga, ok, hágame oraciones, eh, generemos una conversación, usted va a decir, ¿cómo se dice esto? ¿Cómo se Sí, es que me la sé, pero se me ha olvidado. Ok, parte del language. 
Pero entonces significa que necesitamos mejorar en speaking, speaking. ¿verdad? Necesitamos practicarlo más. Eh, yo sé que ustedes han visto bastante eh, durante los módulos parte de gramática. Okay, yo aquí lo que estoy tratando de hacer es reforzar un poquito lo que han visto. Ah, o recordarles, desempolvar un poco ahí lo que tenemos en el, en el CPU, ¿verdad? Eh, para que veamos cómo que va estructurada una oración. Si ustedes se dan cuenta, eh, la structure in English is really important. Las estructuras gramaticales en el inglés son muy importantes. De eso me, me va a servir a mí para poder utilizar cualquier tiempo y para también identificar de qué es lo que se está hablando, si estamos hablando en presente, pasado o futuro. Ok, hasta ahorita no hemos visto nada de los pasados. A partir de mañana empiezo a, a trabajar un poco con los pasados. Hemos visto solo present, present y parte del future, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a empezar a trabajar ya con los pasados a partir de mañana. Donde acá sí fue un papel importante el conocer verbos, verbs, ¿verdad? Porque ya tenemos diferentes formas de verbos en uso. Eh, es fundamental... A, a, lo que yo más pretendo es que ustedes me colaboren en el sentido de la práctica eh, a mí me gusta mucho que sea una speaking class more, than students, more students than the teacher me gusta que sea una clase más participativa de los estudiantes que del teacher no soy un, un amante de que los ma el maestro hable más pero muchas veces eh, me toca a mí hablar más porque son pocos los que están activos y no los puedo mandar a participar, a generar esto y lo otro, porque yo a veces traigo actividades para esto. Pero a veces, como eh, todos a veces no están activos o algo, se me dificulta. Pero yo quisiera que colaboráramos en eso, porque el bien ya no es para mí. Porque yo already speak English and I can communicate with uh, another English speaker. Pero el bien es para ustedes, right? Because I want you to have a really good communication skill. Quiero que tengan una buena uh, habilidad en la, cuanto a la comunicación. Entonces, nos quedan tres, eh, tres semanas más de clases. Estas tres semanas podemos explotarnos más, right? To make an effort. I know, yo sé que este es un esfuerzo y que quizás ahorita estamos en clases aquí. Estamos con un ojo como activo y el otro como que ya durmiendo. ¿va? Y después cambiamos el otro ya al revés. Eh, pero es parte del proceso. Nadie de los que han sido exitosos ha tenido un logro fácil. ¿verdad? Todo ha sido difícil, independientemente sea un idioma, independientemente sea un emprendimiento, independientemente sea lo que sea. Entonces, eh, yo sé que es difícil. Ustedes ya van muy avanzados, porque imagínense, ya van intermedio 4, luego van intermedio 5, luego el 6, y luego pasan al avanzado. ¿Right? So ya están cerquita de la meta. Ahí. ¿Right? Pero uh, yo siempre he dicho, no, no es solamente de que terminé los cursos, tengo el diploma, sino que al final es cuánto logré aprender. Al final, este diploma que dice aquí avanzado, este diploma que dice aquí intermedio, en realidad va con lo que yo he practicado. O sea, entonces, de ahí hay que evaluarnos. If it is the teacher problem, if it is the method problem, or if it is my problem as a student, right? Tenemos que hacer esas autoevaluaciones nosotros, ¿verdad? Ok, y yo siempre, si ustedes se fijan, voy a hacerles preguntas para generarles una conversación. No hay clase que yo no les vaya a preguntar algo para que ustedes me, me, me speak, para que me hablen. No hay clase en la que yo no les vaya a preguntar algo. Siempre, siempre, siempre. Y siempre lo voy a mandar eh, a trabajar donde ustedes tienen que hablar mucho. Pero normalmente lo que me he fijado es que hablan más español que en inglés, ¿verdad? Right? And it should be different. Y debería ser diferente, ¿verdad? O tiene que ser diferente. It has to be different. You should speak in English. If you go, for example, if you go to work, uh, Mariano with Walter, for example, and if you go to work and if you have to discuss something, discuss in English. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos aprendiendo inglés. Necesito acostumbrarme al inglés. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que tengo que hablar? Uh -huh. English. English. Eh, English, ¿verdad? Spanglish. Ok. <risa> Pueden mezclar Spanglish, ok. <risa> Porque buenas veces hacer fan, ¿verdad? El mix, el mix. <risa> el mix. <también. risa> ok. Pero, pero ya no tendría chiste que yo hable más español 
porque el español, bueno, no lo sabemos bien también, hay que ser claro, ¿verdad? pero por lo menos ya nos comunicamos en español. ¿verdad? Ok, entonces yo necesito inglés. Es como un, un futbolista. Para ser un buen futbolista, ¿qué necesita practicar? Fútbol. Fútbol, right? Fútbol. So, entonces no hay otro way, no hay otro, no hay otro camino más que el speak, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, yo los motivo en ese sentido porque eh, no quiero que seamos del grupo de personas que a veces decimos, no, yo lo, lo, lo entiendo, ¿verdad? lo leo, lo comprendo, pero es que a veces hablarlo es que me cuesta. No, 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 that's not the way. Ese no es el camino. ¿verdad? El camino es no. Um, no lo hablo fluido, pero sí me puedo comunicar, lo necesario para comunicar. Ok, very nice. ¿Por qué? Porque, por ejemplo, eh, si ustedes se fijan, cuando un americano le habla, el americano le habla con un tono de voz fuerte. Y no es porque le está ofendiendo, sino porque es la naturaleza de ellos. Por ejemplo, le va a decir, Ok, Daddy, good afternoon. How are you today? What are you doing? En este tono. Ah, nosotros en el, en el salvadoreño, Daddy, ¿cómo está? Eh, ¿Qué está haciendo? El tono de, de nosotros en, como salvadoreño o, la, o el hablante español es de esta manera, pero el English speaker no le va a hablar de esa manera. English speaker le va a hablar fuerte. Y usted tiene que estar preparado para eso, preparada para eso. Ok, perfecto. So, es una parte de motivation, ¿verdad? You need to get inspired. You need to get inspired in order to speak better because uh, this is a good opportunity for you in order to speak a, a good level of English. And of course, the writing and of course, the grammar. Ok, uh, it's time to pass the attendance list. I'm a Call by your name as soon as you listen your name, please tell me present. Ok. Y okay. me tomé este tiempo para esto, porque sí es importante decírselos, ¿verdad? Porque pues a veces siempre nosotros necesitamos un pequeño empujón, right? Quizás estamos ahí por un pequeño empujón, right? Y eso nos va a ayudar. Eh, yo sé que van a decir a este teacher, sí, que molesta con eso de que pregunte, que, que, que ya. Ok, yes. Lastimosamente les tocó un teacher que les va a estar preguntando siempre, right? Independientemente de ustedes estén activos o no, ahí voy a estar llamando a Belén, Rosemary, Adela, Salvador, Leticia, right? Ahí voy a estar siempre. A todos les voy a preguntar, independientemente me vayan a contestar o no, right? Así que no va a haber clase en la que alguien diga, no, yo no voy a poder hablar. Al menos que usted diga, bueno, no voy a estar porque estoy ocupado y tal vez no lo está. Ahí tal vez. Ahora, si lo está ocupado realmente, pues igual va a haber, hay comprensión. Ok. Ah, y las tareas. Hasta la unidad 2 y el examen final, ¿ok? Porque eso necesito, eh, lo voy a actualizar hoy en la noche, después de que me desconecte de acá. Teacher, I have a, a problem with the homework number 1.7. 1.7. Okay. Yes, because I, I, I have one, two, three sentences wrong. wrong. 1.7. Okay, give me, give me a chance. Give me a chance. 1.7 is here. Okay. In unit one, 1. 1.7. Yes. Unit okay. One. What happened with the problem you have there? With the sentences one, two, and fine. One, two, and fine. Okay. Uh, because the this exercise I did in the class, but I put in the sentences the same in the system uh, give me a, 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 a mistake. Okay, it's one, four, and five. One, two. And fine. Okay, one, two, and five. Okay, maybe it could be a mayuscula. Uh, maybe you need you need to use a um, capital letter at the beginning of retailer. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. I, okay. Make sure that you have the all the letters correct, and sometimes it's because of that. Okay. Perfect. Okay, brilliant. If not, just text me. I'm gonna be awake because I have to check them. Okay. Okay, very nice. Okay, um, Adela Trinidad González Consuera. Present. Okay, Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Okay, Belén Batre García. Sí, present teacher. Okay, very nice. 
Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Present teacher. Ok, very nice. Debbie Yasmin Girón Ramírez. Present teacher. Ok, very nice. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Ok, Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. José Roberto Martínez Bernabe. Present teacher. Ok, very nice. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. <coughs> Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Ok, very nice. Mariano, usted no se ha quedado conmigo una sesión después de finalizar las clases, ¿verdad? Ayer, teacher. Oh, ok, very Ah, sí, yes, ayer, yes. Ok. Oscar Anufo Villatoro Herrera. Present teacher. Ok, Oscar, you're going to stay with me after the class, ok? Teacher, today I can't. What happened? Today I can't. Oh, ok, ok, very nice. Rosemary Ventura de Arguello. Ok. Uh, Rosemary, usted se va a quedar entonces conmigo hoy después de la clase, ok? Unos minutos. Ok, teacher. Ok, very nice. Rosibel del Carmen López. Present teacher. Ok, very nice. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present. Ok, very nice. Sonny Beta Alvarenga. Present. Ok. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present teacher. Very nice. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Ok. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Okay, okay, students. Good evening. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Good night. Good night. Okay, Rosemary. So um, this space is in order for you to have uh, a time in order to ask for some extra information that you need about the topics or that, uh, the contents that we have seen during the model. So I don't know if you have any question about something that we have seen. Actually, yes. First, I want to apologize because this is my first class because yeah. I had to I took my annual vacation from my job the last two weeks and I have to to go out to, to the country and I have two hours to difference between El Salvador. Uh -huh. And actually I'm vacation and I took with human resource and then say, sorry, I can't connect. I don't have enough time, but I try to to catch me up when I come back. And okay. I don't know if you can help me uh, with a quickly resume. Yeah. <laughs> the last two weeks. I'm sorry, but I really need to take my vacation. Oh, okay, very nice. So, so the thing is that the, the last two weeks you were abroad, right? Yes. So right now you get back. Yes. Okay, very nice. So uh, actually, we were we have been working in uh, about a terms that are referred about business, right? Uh, but we have been using different tenses. For example, uh, zero conditional and first conditional. Those have been the the most uh, or the strongest part of the uh, uh, grammar that we have been working for. Um, and of course, we have been using a some complex situations about using certainty and uncertainty expressions. You know, to talk about different ways. For example, if you talk about certainty situations, you use some expression like this one. Let me see here in the, okay, let me here. Okay. This is, yes. It is, it is the certainty expressions that we have. Okay, so here we, ha we have some certain expressions like certainly, obviously, of course. Um, sorry, I can see the screen. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, I didn't. Yeah. Okay, I apologize. Okay, 
we have been working with some certain or sure expansions, right? Of certain, for example, certainly, obviously, is when we talk about something that we are sure about. And we, we give the, uh, the situation as a reason, real, a strong reason. Okay, surely, doubtless. When we talk about doubtless, it's a way to say sin ninguna duda. Doubtless. Okay, of course. In all likelihood, it's like to say, for example, bueno, por todos lados, or de cualquier manera, right? It's correct. Of course. How do you pronounce likelihood? Uh, in all likelihood. Y es como de todas maneras. Yes. Okay. Ed and Phillips are, in all likelihood, ready to make their business grow. Okay. Como decir, mire, Ed y Philip es, están de todas maneras de listos para. Manera. Ajá. De todas maneras, o de cualquier manera, ¿verdad? listos Ahora, para. Okay. Ajá, para hacer crecer su negocio. Ok. Entonces, es algo que, como hablar de, de seguridad, ¿verdad? Ok, obviously. Y luego nos pasamos a ver lo que era también a, en, la, en la parte anterior. Um, eh, los, los que, bueno, los que vimos hoy, ¿verdad? Para hablar de los que no son tan eh, ciertos. ¿verdad? Estamos un poco en duda de cómo utilizarlos. Eh, luego de eso, está hablando más que todo en gramaticalmente, ¿verdad? Lo que hemos visto. Sí. Y luego vimos los comparativos. Por ejemplo, tenemos el, comp el comparativo de as, as. Esto, as, as. Okay, cuando hablamos este as, as, es como para decir tan como. Por ejemplo, okay. por, por ejemplo decimos like acá. As done, but in another way. Which one? Sorry, couldn't hear. It's like you use done. More than, yes. Uh, aunque, aunque en el more than decimos más que. Por ejemplo, you are more intelligent than Jose, por ejemplo. Usted es más inteligente que José. Pero con el as, as, no es para decir más, sino que es, es como para comparar que usted es tan inteligente como José. Y yo puedo decir, you are as intelligent as José. It's like equal. Yes, equal. Usted dice ahí, ¿verdad? Usted es tan inteligente como José. Ahora, puede sonar como que estemos utilizando el dance y la hago negativa. Si yo puedo decir, por ejemplo, you are not as intelligent as Jose. Usted no es tan inteligente como lo es Jose, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, entonces acá normalmente lo que siempre llevamos eh, son, por ejemplo, eh, adjetivos, ¿verdad? Uh, verbios, right? Entonces, para poder decir eh, algo que no es, ¿verdad? O que es tan como, ¿verdad? Y lo podemos utilizar con el verbo to be. Pero si usted se fija, mire. Is, as. The company adds. Acá no llevamos el adds. Pero sí llevamos lo que es. Much value. Much value, ¿verdad? Ok, very nice. Lo podemos utilizar también de esta manera. O lo puedo utilizar de negativo también con el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Miren, y también en negativo con el verbo to be. Y puedo utilizarlo con verbos. Ahora, lo yo tengo que, tengo que eh, manejar acá es que siempre tengo que llevar en medio de as, as, que es lo que estoy comparando para decir que es tan como o para decir que no es tan como. ¿Qué es más importante? ¿Qué es más valioso? ¿Qué es más rápido? ¿Más lento? ¿Más efectivo? Ok, yes. Ok. Entonces, ahí, por ejemplo, en, la, en esta dice, the shipment transportation for a distributor is not as effective as showing their advertisement. Nos dice, ¿verdad?, que el transporte, ¿verdad?, de la carga no es, de, de mis distribuidores, no es tan efectivo como lo mostraron en el anuncio. No ¿Cómo es. publicidad. Ajá, correcto, en el anuncio, o sea, en, el, en la publicidad que le ofrecieron a ellos cuando ellos eh, estaban necios de que entraran a trabajar en su empresa. Entonces, ahí lo que nos está diciendo es eso, que no es tan efectivo como lo mostraron al, al inicio. Entonces, eh, esto me ayuda para decir tan como o no tan como, ¿verdad? Cuando es negativo. Ok. Ok. Y luego, eh, estuvimos viendo, es, ya son vocabularios referentes a los, lo que hemos visto de las empresas. Eh, pero, eh, yes, hemos trabajado con el 3PL provider, yes, sí. 
Eso es lo que hemos, y lo que hemos trabajado hoy. Y luego los uh, conditionals, que creo que con lo que hoy se trabajó, más, más o menos usted uh, captó la idea, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Y viene I a tiempo. Hola. Yes. No, Ajá. Okay. ok. Y viene a tiempo porque el tema que vamos a empezar a ver a partir de mañana, ya cuando hablamos de los Unreal Conditions, ya, ya se siente un poco más complicado porque ya estamos hablando de algo que no es real. Son Unreal Conditions. Y ya vemos tiempo donde utilizamos el Simple Past y podemos en algunos casos utilizar el Past Perfect. Tenemos like past Positions. Yes, supposition, yes. You, or maybe something that you uh, want to regret about. Algo que ustedes también se puede lamentar, ¿verdad? Que lo hizo de esa manera. Entonces ya viene tiempo porque eso sí ya implica un poquito de dominar los verbos en las tres fases, ¿verdad? En presente, pasado simple y en pasado perfecto, porque es como se utiliza. I hate the past perfect and the past participle and all the past that exist. It's like math. Como, como decía un, uh, un amigo cuando estábamos en bachillerato, ¿qué, el, qué habrá fumado el que inventó, inventó la álgebra? Decía? ¿Por qué nos fregó <laughs> tanto <laughs> con esto? Ajá. ¿Qué tan sí. fumado estaba? Okay. Y lo mismo pasa en inglés, porque hay muchas cosas que uno dice, pero ¿por qué no mejor decirlas de esto, sino que de esta manera? <ríe> Nos tenemos que acostumbrar. En inglés resulta que es bien complicada la parte de la gramática en pasado. Dicen que el español es el idioma más complejo porque tenemos un montón de relaciones y palabras. Pero a mí me complica más entender el pasado en inglés, incluso que en francés. Es más fácil que entenderlo en inglés. Hay muchos sí. pasados. Eh, pero es fácil. Es fácil, es cuestión de, mire, se, nos vamos con los tips. Con los tips eh, nos vamos, por ejemplo, tenemos el pasado simple, ¿verdad? Pasado perfecto, ¿verdad? Past perfect. ¿verdad? Tenemos el, el pasado en gerundio, ¿verdad? Gerund, past gerund, bien, ¿ok? Bien. Y tenemos también el, el past progressive, ¿verdad? Y tenemos el pasado perfecto progresivo. Right, yes, pero demasiado, son... demasiado pasado y futuro es como solo futuro, futuro perfecto, ¿verdad? Mm, ya. Futuro, futuro simple, futuro perfecto, yes. Y tenemos como 20 pasados. Uh, no, 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 exact, no, exactly 20. There are just, there are only four. Only 19. <ríe> no, no, no son muchos, son, pero es cuestión de, de lo que pasa es que a veces nosotros nos complicamos, ¿verdad? pero pero ya a veces poniéndole un poquito de coco se nos va. Easy. Sí, así que ojalá y nos de los tips, así como de la estructura de cada uno de los tiempos, porque creo que eso sí a veces confunde, porque todos suenan muy parecidos y uno no sabe cuándo usar cada uno. Y ahí está fácil, el auxiliary. El auxiliary nos va a indicar... Eh, pa yo por eso siempre para cada tiempo doy la estructura de oración afirmativa, negativa y pregunta. Que es lo ellos, básico para saber cada una. Para saber cada una. ¿Por qué? Porque vaya, imaginémonos que el simple past normalmente no lleva auxiliar en la oración afirmativa. Solo es el verbo en pasado simple. El verbo en pasado simple. Ah, pero en oración donde llevo negativa y pregunta, el verbo va en su forma base, pero llevo auxiliar entonces, yes, o el did, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces, si yo veo una oración que dice, I had eight pupusas yesterday, significa, yo comí pupusas ayer. Pero si yo veo una oración que dice, I didn't eat pupusas yesterday, es lo mismo, no comí pupusas ayer. Ahora, Ahí tenemos el pasado simple. ¿Cómo puedo convertir esa oración yo en un pasado perfecto? Con el was. No. No. El pasado perfecto utilizamos el auxiliar had. Um, y ahí es donde vienen los, ¿verdad? Verbos en past participle. I have eaten the pupusas. Pero cuando, pero ¿por qué utiliza ese y no el otro pasado? Eso es lo que nunca he entendido. 
hay que el pasado simple, el was y el were, es parte del pasado simple. Con la diferencia de que cuando el verbo to be lo utilizamos en pasado, lo vamos para hacer o estar. Por ejemplo, I was at home yesterday. Yo estaba en casa ayer. No. Es como para una acción específica. Yes. Y el otro es general. Por ejemplo, en el presente simple tenemos el presente simple, ¿verdad? Tenemos el, el auxiliar to and does, ¿verdad? Sí. Y tenemos el verbo to be. A um, miss are, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. para hablar de ser o estar. Y tenemos el pasado simple con el, di, con el do, el does, perdón, <coughs> presente simple, para hablar de acciones. Right? Ok. Eso mismo pasa al pasado. Tenemos el pasado simple con el was and where, que es del verbo to be, uh -huh. y tenemos el pasado simple del did, donde hablamos de actions. Y el was and were para hablar de ser o estar. O sea, fue o estuvo. Por ejemplo, I was at home yesterday. Yo estaba en casa ayer. Ah, pero yo puedo decir I ate pupusas yesterday. Y estoy utilizando pasado Porque simple. Es una entonces. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ahora, okay. el pasado que es progresivo, utilizo el was y el were, pero lo utilizo con un verbo de acción, pero en, en gerundio. Y el was y el were ya no son verbos, sino que son auxiliares no, de la oración. Más, I was going to. I was going to the gym. Yo ayer estaba yendo al gimnasio cuando esto pasó, por ejemplo. Ya ve que está fácil. Ya, ya va a ver cuando profundicemos. En su momento. <risa> Pero eso es casi que toda mi duda. Más que todo con los pasados, los presentes y los futuros no me dan tanto problema. Pero sí, sí los pasados. Ok, very nice. Ahí lo, lo vamos a trabajar. Ok. Ok. I hope to see you tomorrow, ok? Yes, thank you very so much. Have a nice rest, I guess. But you have to work. I have to wake up early tomorrow, but I have to wait for your uh, grades in, in the homework that you have in the platform. Ok, I try to do it tonight. Ok, awesome. Thank you very much. Good Thank night. You. Good bye night. Bye bye. Bye.